Cześć, witajcie serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku naszej przygody z gry Alan. Wake. Alan Wake. Jak pamiętacie, ostatnio zostaliśmy wyciągnięci z biura szeryfa przez naszego agenta. I teraz musimy wynająć sobie domek. Z tego co się dowiedzieliśmy. Myszka hmm. Mamuta. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What you shot at him and his body just disappeared. Let's look at your next theory, Spiskova. When was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry. I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, and everything's just. Do you understand what it sounds like when you say something like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Wait here. Okay. I porozmawiajmy z Rusty. Hey there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You're right, Cabots. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What is this? Is it somebody Charlie? To actually, the woman with the kidnapper. Those situations always end in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing. Listen, you hit. Oddajmy formularz i zobaczmy co się stanie. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot too. No bands, no words. Ostatnie. Just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Mając na uwadze ostatnie wydarzenia, ludzie wolą tam pochodzić samochodem, niż przedzierać się przez las prawdopodobnie w nocy. Okej, okay. kolejny przerywnik filmowy. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Mam numer tarka. Tylko, że jak widzę, mam 13 baterii. Znowu trzeba będzie. Znowu, znowu uważać. Znowu trzeba będzie. Znowu trzeba będzie. Znowu trzeba będzie. Mam baterię. Kolejny termos. Kawa. Zamknęli te drzwi. No i wychodzimy na zewnątrz. Na razie nie mamy broni, więc raczej pierwsza część podróży będzie spokojniejsza. I przejdźmy za dom. Kolejny termos Mroczny klimat. I 
chyba to wszystko tutaj. Ok, więc możemy rozpocząć nasz spacer na dobry Zostaliśmy rewolwer. Znaczy spodziewać się na czymś szybkiego, jak możemy być szybkiego. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Tam światło. Muszę zapalić się od tych środków. Więc tutaj na razie nic nie grozi. Więc zdobywam amunicję i możemy odsłuchać kolejną audycję radiowej. than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> uh, no plan, really, just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Fat. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> Well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, this is the first time I've seen a large mouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Okay. You want to put you down there? Robinka się zdygałem. Ten domek jest trochę zdemolowany, światło, znaczy nie mamy na sobie, nie mamy co uczyć na światło. A za to odnaleźliśmy kolejny telewizor i kolejny odcinek tego niepokojącego dokumentu. 
Dobrze, może obejdźmy w ciszy. Kolejne nagranie z sobą. Mam dziwne przeczucie, że teraz już zacznie się zabawa. No niestety tutaj znowu się trochę wydłużają do zwykła. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood man. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. This was no head injury.
Fiz um massacre bom, velho. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken leg. Okay, don't Mr. Wake? <coughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whoever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Nie udaje mi się do miura. Znaleźliśmy wcześniej tą kartkę. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Mam na stronę nasz napisu. Tak. Całkiem ich sporo. Tutaj. A, i tu jest dużo urkujonek. At the last instant I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I... I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Okay, pierwszy przeciwnicy. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Fishing. Who purchased a park? License no pay. The park ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty, Rusty, no. Never. Czemu nie ma wody? Ja tu czekam aż się zbliżę. Żeby oszczędzać światło z latarki. Okay. 
więc pierwsze starcie za nami. Powiedzmy. Osiągnięto punkt zapisu i tak patrzę po długości materiału, że powinno być już całkiem w porządku. Odbyliśmy pierwsze walki, przybrnęliśmy przez cały ten wstęp do fabuły drugiego odcinka w Alanie Wake'u. Także myślę, że na ten odcinek to będzie wszystko. Zapraszam do kolejnego odcinka już jutro. Zostawiajcie łapki w górę, subskrybujcie, komentujcie. A na razie to wszystko, cześć.